Public Library of Cincinnati in Hamilton County asked residents across the county to tell us what they want and need at their local branch location. It's part of our commitment to make the best improvements at each location. We generally want to make sure that we are talking to our community and making sure the library is serving what they need from us. And we also want to make sure that they know that. So getting out there and really talking, explicitly talking to them, having a dialogue. We always have done a great job. We continue to do that, but now we want to have a dialogue and share that information in a very meaningful, intentional way and engage them as we move forward into our facilities master plan and our next generation of buildings. The library spent the summer hosting community listening sessions at every branch library. We want to make sure that we are spending the taxpayers' dollars responsibly. And we want to make sure that we give them every opportunity to direct us in how that goes and also just check our own assumptions about uh, the, the best way to, to give them the library that, that they want. So I'm still synthesizing the nine channels of communication from our community engagement this year, but I wanted to share some themes that emerged as pretty consistent across multiple listening sessions. Operational sustainability and green space. So there was a lot of discussion around better utilization of outdoor space, whether that was cultivating the area around the library, or in some cases expanding the library to put those spaces inside the building. But this also included some discussion around green energy and LEED certification. Second one was diversity and inclusion as we consider the overall customer experience. So there was a lot of discussion around consideration for flexibility in space so that the library could adapt and stay relevant and attempting to design space for everyone no matter how they use the library. So this ranged from discussion around ADA accessibility to customers who primarily use the library online and really wanted to improve the online experience. And finally, library as community destination was a theme that came up. Many people talked about how the library and their branch specifically is such an anchor for the community and an inextricable part of the community identity. Community members shared how much they appreciated how welcoming their library is. The feedback collected from the community, staff, local business leaders, and others will be used by Group 4 Architecture, research and planning consultants who have worked with major library systems across the country to develop a facility master plan. The library will use ideas from architects, design professionals, community members, businesses, library staff, and others to develop recommendations. It's nice to know that all those things will be taken into account when we look at short-term needs and our longer-term needs. Our number one priority is making sure every library location is accessible to every community member including people living with disabilities. The library has already taken steps to connect with local groups, including Design Impact and FTC and H to start the planning work for our facilities most in need. These meetings are really important because it's an opportunity for uh, people in the community to have a voice and share their open and honest opinions with the library. We heard great things from our community. They love the staff and they do love the library, but some of the suggestions that emerged again and again, including making sure all of our locations are accessible for people who have mobility challenges, additionally upgraded restrooms, parking. We also heard again and again that people wanted more space, specifically for meeting rooms, as well as individual study spaces and we heard quite a bit about attractive outdoor spaces and making the areas around our libraries more activated and using any outdoor space we have at the libraries currently in a more intentional way. The facility master plan will be shared with the public once it's complete at the end of 2019. We are using taxpayer dollars which we take very seriously and we want to hear from the taxpayers about what they would like to see at their branches and with the um, various things, ideas that they have for improving the libraries. They're the ones that use it, so they really are the ones that we should be listening to. So I always tell people, you know, we need to support our library system. We need to pass the levy. When they ask us for money, it's they have genuine needs. The completed facilities master plan isn't the end, but the beginning. Look for us out in the community again as we move into the implementation phase and toward a next generation library system. You can keep up to date by visiting cincinnatilibrary.org slash next generation library.